guys, it's the Mike Canna here, and um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of troubleshooting on my car. Having a little problem where it's hard to get it in gear on cold starts, and um, it also feels a little wonky to shift it at times, and it's been kind of a building problem. It seems to have gotten worse as time has progressed. So um, I'm thinking there's something that's getting out of line somewhere. Maybe I'm low on transmission fluid. There could be like a lot of different reasons why this could be happening, but I guess I'm just gonna have to take a look and try to diagnose why that is. Yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and just get straight into it. We're gonna start by draining and refilling the transmission. So once you got your car all safely jacked up, nice and even, we have an easy access fill hole below the air intake assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all that. So now that we've unveiled the fill bolt up top, which is right here, we are going to drain the fluid. Unfortunately, my light front of the car died, so I wasn't able to get a good enough angle, but essentially there is a drain bolt, which you can kind of see right here, and then there's a fill bolt, which you can't see, but um, you gotta break both loose. You gotta remove the drain bolt and let the fluid drain, and you should be good to go to fill afterwards. This is what they look like right here, and the sizes for removing them. So yeah, that's definitely not enough fluid. It's gotta be less than a quart. Um, means 100% we have a leak somewhere, but for now we're just gonna refill the transmission and see if that has any effect on our problem. So we're gonna put about two quarts of Honda MTF in here. Um, I've got this cool little snaky thing that's enabling me to fill it. I'm a little bit farther away, but essentially any type of funnel, because it is uh, pretty hard to get in that hole. I'd be surprised if you could aim it in there and not make a mess, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna slowly put that in there. You're gonna go ahead and check your fill bolt every once in a while and see if uh, fluid's coming out, because once it comes out, that lets you know it's full. Um, some people just say go ahead and just put two quarts in there, but for the sake of doing things correctly, you wanna do it the way the manufacturer recommends, and that's checking to see if fluid's coming out of the fill bolt. So yeah, now we got everything put back together. Um, I didn't show you here, but I already stepped inside of the car and I basically rode through all the gears just to move the fluid around as much as possible. Um, you wanna do that a couple times. And now we're gonna give it a live test. We're gonna turn on the car and see if it's had any effect on the ability to shift into gear while the car is cold. And I try to leave the car as cold as possible to try to mimic uh, the problem we're having. It's kind of hard to see here based on my shifter, but I can already feel right away that it's still really hard to move it into a gear. Some gears it really just doesn't want to go. See how it doesn't want to come out of reverse right there. Um, yeah, not a good sign. That means that the amount of fluid did not have anything to do with our problem. So yeah, we're going to have to just keep troubleshooting. Well, you know what? It wasn't good that it didn't have a lot of fluid in it. There could be a lot of reasons for that, but I'm guessing it's axle seals, which if it is, I will have to take it to the shop because um, I just don't have the time or the space to go ahead and take all my axles apart and get new seals in there right here in my apartment. Um, I kind of try to keep anything I do short just for my manager's sake so she doesn't trip on me because I don't think we're supposed to be working on our cars down there, but. She doesn't make a big deal out of it when we do, uh, which is cool. Thank you, Kim. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bite to eat. We're gonna come back and we're gonna kind of look at what else could be the problem because even though we got new transmission fluid in there and it's nice and full now, I'm still having the same problem, which means that the problem is somewhere else. It wasn't the fluid, even though my fluid was incredibly low, um, didn't seem to affect it whatsoever, even having the new fluid in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the clutch master cylinder after that, take a look at our clutch pedal and see if there's any um, 
anything strange basically down there because sometimes there could be problems with just engaging the clutch which could cause this so we're going to take a look after i go ahead and get some food at five guys but yeah for right now we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to get refueled real quick here we are at five guys if you haven't been to five guys give them some support because apparently they're about to go under got a clean little dc5 rxx s right here another little honda boy over here so everywhere i go dude honda boys Okay guys, I think we got it figured out. I went ahead and went downstairs and took another look at my car um, after I got home and I took a look at my clutch pedal and it looked like it was a little bit low. Like from my memory from when I first got the car, the clutch pedal, the brake pedal were kind of similar heights and then the um, you know, throttle pedal was a little bit closer, a little bit farther to the right. And it looked like it was kind of like in a staircase, like it was throttle pedal, brake pedal, clutch pedal, so I went ahead and got underneath there and took a look. I uh, looked at the assembly a little bit and um, there is some sort of a locking nut on the CMC that attaches to the uh, clutch pedal and it was loose. So upon further inspection and a little bit of research, I think that the plunger had basically fed itself backwards to the point where um, the clutch was, when um, cold, was slightly engaged a little bit. I guess uh, the plunger kind of variates um, what it does as the car begins to warm up. So that would explain why once it warmed up, it would allow me to move. But um, yeah, I kind of got that all adjusted. I'll show you a little video of what that looks like. So this is the CMC right here. Sorry for the shitty quality, I had to resize this. Um, but that's the bolt right there. That bolt came loose on me and it essentially enabled the plunger to back itself um, back, basically leaving the clutch slightly engaged even with full depression um, when the car was first started um, and yeah I just had to adjust it forwards and also this right here you know this is uh, your clutch height adjustment um, if that's off at all you want to make sure that those are touching so I adjusted that as well and yeah now I've got a super solid clutch pedal feel um, we're here back in the car and it's fresh cold start and boom Nice and smooth, dude, into every gear. No problems whatsoever. Um, yeah, I think we got it, guys. Really nice. No problems. Straight into reverse. Could move the car right away. No grinds. Just the way we wanted it. So I would say we got this one wrapped up. Very nice. Awesome. Love it. So yeah, now that everything's back together, it's uh, working really good. Um, from a cold start in the morning, I can put it directly into reverse. There is no grinds, no problems whatsoever. It just is ready to go. Of course, you should always warm up your car a little bit, but if I needed to, I can just take off. I can go, no problems, go smooth into first, smooth into second, smooth into third. And even though my fluid went really low, um, it is shifting super nice, so I'm really happy about that. Um, Part of the um, problem with something like an axle seal is um, they leak mostly while driving and that's why I wasn't seeing any fluid build up underneath my car. Um, so I don't know how, like when they start, if they were leaking right away when I first had my axles installed because I had some new axles put on the car um, or if they slowly like started tearing and breaking and then leaking, but I never saw any fluid underneath my car so um, I couldn't be so sure that fluid was leaking even though i had um kind of a feeling it was because something was leaking from somewhere and it you know i'm just kind of starting to learn now but uh i can smell now that that's transmission fluid and um, i didn't know it was leaking that fast because i'd only see the most baby amount on kind of like the bottom of the transmission once in a while and i would wipe it up every oil change but you know you live and you learn um so you know it's good to look around the axle as well and see if there's any buildup of fluid around there because if there is there would really be no other reason why other than um, the axle seal leaking so now I know that but yeah um, this is actually a week later and I've actually had the axle seals fixed already so basically everything's good to go the car's running good um, we got everything fixed so yeah maybe um, if you're having any of these problems with your car getting stuck in gear um, <clears throat> or you're just having trouble shifting in general, um, these are some things you can check. Check your transmission fluid, check your cable linkage, check your bushings to your cable linkage, 
check your slave and your um, clutch master cylinder, check your connections to your clutch pedal. These things can all affect how and if you'll be able to get into gear and if you're gonna grind or whatnot, you know, there could be actually problems with your transmission, but you know, look, I thought there was, maybe my transmission was completely failing, but uh, the truth was that um, there was just a couple things out of whack and now my transmission is shifting super smooth. It is probably actually the best it's ever shifted since I've had this car. So I'm kind of in disbelief. I thought for sure something was shot or destroyed. But uh, just with a couple of little adjustments, refilling my fluid and also getting those seals replaced, I'm good to go. And um, I'm not having any problems right now. I am super enjoying driving my car. So yeah, um, good luck guys. I hope for this uh, video was able to help you guys out too. Uh, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, do all the things. I really appreciate it. I'm starting to try to grow my channel a little bit more because uh, I feel like I'm really enjoying this making videos thing. And uh, yeah. You guys stay cool. Have a good one. Bye.